Welcome back to 10 Slide Info. This video will provide the current status of the Long Range Land Attack Cruise Missile Program, which is a strategic initiative of the Defense Research and Development Organization to develop a subsonic cruise missile with a range of over 1,000 kilometers. The Long Range Land Attack Cruise Missile Program is seen as a successor to the ongoing Mir Bay Cruise Missile Program which is being developed for both the Indian Navy and the Indian Air Force. The LRLACM is expected to play a key role in India's deterrence and strike capabilities by providing long-range precision strike capability against high-value targets. The missile is expected to carry a variety of warheads for different missions. As per the recent update, the long-range land attack cruise missile is currently in the crucial testing phase with trials scheduled to begin in the coming weeks. These trials will focus on evaluating the missile's performance in a variety of conditions, including its range, accuracy, and survivability. One of the key highlights of this program is its propulsion system, which is the locally developed Manic engine, also known as the short turbofan engine. The Manic engine has already undergone extensive testing via Indigenous Technology Cruise Missile Program. Earlier this year, DRDO officials had confirmed that the STFE underwent extensive testing via Indigenous Technology Cruise Missile Program, paving the way for its integration into the long-range land attack cruise missile. The successful completion of the crucial testing phase would be a significant milestone towards this goal, and post this the missile will enter into production phase. So, let's expect India completes this phase as planned, as this is a major achievement for India to show their capability to develop and produce world-class defense systems indigenously. Thank you for watching 10 Slide Info. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos on the latest defense news and analysis. Thank you.